Hello friends, today I bring you another questions and answers video since I've noticed that you've really enjoyed the previous ones. You know how it goes, you leave your questions in the comment box and I'll try to answer them in the next video. If you asked a question in the previous video and it didn't appear in this one, don't worry, it will likely appear in the next video. But well, without further ado, let's analyze the first question. Could Yujiro have a sibling? Could his father have had an unknown child with another woman? This is material for theories since nothing about it is mentioned at any point, neither directly nor indirectly. But taking this as a theory, I'll take a few moments to explain to you what Yujiro Hama's brother would be like from my perspective. A twin brother would be very cliché, and I also dislike the idea of the good brother versus the evil brother. I feel like that has been seen in many other series. Most people who think that Yujiro should have a brother always agree on the same thing, that this character should be a good man or an adult version of Baki. It would be interesting, but I will explain to you my alternative version of Yujiro Hama's brother. I haven't thought of a name for him, but I'd like to know what you call him, so you can say it in the comment section. This hypothetical character should be older than Yujiro, at least by three or two years. Regarding personality, I like the idea of a carefree guy with a great sense of humor. This guy should be very different from Yujiro, but not in a way where we see him as his counterpart. I mean, this character could be a man who likes to gamble, drink, enjoy parties, and go against Yujiro's philosophy, but at the same time, share certain attitudes. Obviously, this man would need to be very strong. He should be as strong as Yujiro, so he can stand at the same level and confront him without the fear that other characters have. From my perspective, Yujiro's brother would not approve of the ogre's methods but also wouldn't stand in his way. If I were to give him a more detailed personality, he would be someone similar to Yuchiro, but with a lower moral sense. For example, this guy could be very relaxed and friendly but when he gets angry, he would be an unstoppable monster. It would be fun to see how Yujiro would deal with a brother crazier than him and with a better sense of humor than his. Just imagine Yujiro's face when his brother plays a prank on him but being someone almost as strong as he is, couldn't put him asleep with a single punch. It would definitely be something epic to see. In short, this character would be Baki's crazy uncle who roams the world carefree, but causing no more trouble than Yujiro. But hey, this is just my opinion. I'd like to know how you would build Yujiro's brother in the Baki series. Would you like this character to be more evil than the ogre, or have a heart like Baki's? Also, Tell me what you think about Yujiro's brother being as strong as him. Do you think that would be a bad idea? What if Emi refused to be Yujiro's wife? Well, and we all know that Yujiro would never accept a negative answer, so Emi really had no choice. The ogre is a sadist and always gets what he wants. So, even if Emi rejected him in the end, the ogre was going to achieve his goal. The real question is, would this affect Baki? Would Baki be a completely different person than the one we know? From a scientific point of view, there shouldn't be major changes in his personality. But knowing that we're talking about Baki, we have to consider that anything can happen. In this series, they revived a caveman who lived in the dinosaur era and used a psychic woman to bring back the soul of the legendary swordsman, Musashi Miyamoto. If Baki's mother had been another woman, there could be two scenarios. He would have a loving and responsible mom, or someone worse than Emmy. If he had a mother with a kind heart, Yujiro possibly would never have allowed them to be together, since he was always going to try to raise Baki to be a fighter who could be at his level. Regardless of what kind of mother Baki would have had, Yujiro was always going to be there to raise him as a combat weapon. After all, the biggest culprit for Baki's suffering has always been Yujiro. Maybe he thinks that's the only way to show true love, However, for all the normal people who do not live off fighting, he might seem like a total sadist. So in short, even if Emi were not Baki's mother, things wouldn't have changed much since Yujiro would have been pushing Baki to become the fighter who can give him the fight of his life. Why don't they clone Retsu? I think they could do it, but they didn't because they have respect for Retsu's memory. Mitsuneri brought back Musashi, but at that time, no one knew what this man was planning so that's why he acted with total freedom. I believe the man who would oppose the idea of reviving Retsu would be Baki Hanma, as he is the one who holds the most respect for Retsu, and from his perspective, it would be disrespectful to carry out this action. 
Baki legitimately hated Musashi, and in fact told him that he did not belong in this era. Baki hated him so much that he didn't care if anyone intervened in his fight as he only cared about sending Musashi back to the other world. Baki is so proud that it is very rare for him to allow anyone to get in the middle of his fight. Recall that time when Pickle showed up in his fight against Yujiro? On that occasion, Baki was so angry that he broke Pickle's tooth to get him out of the fight. I found it very interesting that Baki accepted that someone other than himself would defeat Musashi. However, this is evidence of the legitimate hatred Baki had for the swordsman, as he allowed someone else to determine the outcome of their fight, something he had never allowed before. Baki considers this whole cloning thing an aberration, and I think if he realized that Mitsunari was planning to clone his friend, he would stop him without hesitation. Another important reason not to do this is that Retsu himself would not accept coming back to life in this way. The master of Chinese Kenpo is a very proud man and would consider this a disrespect to his person. Retsu honorably accepted his defeat and also accepted his death since he left this world doing what he loved most. So in short we could say, although it is possible to revive Retsu, they don't do it out of respect for him. However, I'm sure Mitsunari would do it if no one objected to the idea. It would be interesting if Retsu came back to life at some crucial moment when its help is needed. For example, during an alien invasion or in a scenario where a more dangerous threat than Yujiro appears. Who has the strongest grip strength? I remember that I have answered this question before, but I will do so again briefly. Nomi definitely has the strongest grip in the series, perhaps only second to Yujiro Hama. The Rikishi was the only person who managed to turn a piece of coal into a diamond. I thought Yujiro had also done something similar, but in reality, when he grabbed the piece of coal, he turned it into dust. That means he used even more force than necessary to turn the coal into a diamond. And while so far Nomi has proven that he has the most powerful hands in the series, but I think his grip is slightly less powerful than Yujiro's because, obviously, no one is stronger than Yujiro. His grip strength is so powerful that he managed to break the hard bones of Oliva Biscuit with ease, and, as I said, he managed to create a diamond out of coal. Hanayama would be in third place since he has not yet demonstrated a feat as incredible as the diamond one. What other fighter would you have added to the Japanese team to face the Chinese team? I've always thought that Ali Jr. should not have gone to the tournament. I know they included him so that we could get to know the character better and see his skills as a fighter, however. I think that if we take him out of the team, it wouldn't affect anything. His participation and dialogues were very little relevant. Even the other guy with glasses had a bit more prominence since he was destined to face Retsu. But well, if we take Junior out of the team, I would have liked Dopo or Katsumi to take his place. Katsumi is of Chinese origin, so it would have been interesting to see how he would feel fighting in his home country. It would also have been interesting to see how characters like Kaku would react to seeing a compatriot of his practicing a martial art other than Chinese Kenpo. Clearly, Katsumi would have won his matches, just like Ali Jr. I would also have liked Dopo to be part of the team, but he would have fewer reasons to go so I'm not very sure. Tell me your opinion and let me know which character you would have added to Baki's team for this tournament. What is Kahaya's true potential? Kahaya is one of the characters introduced in the sumo arc, and it was implied that this guy was on the same level as Nomi. The truth is, after being defeated and humiliated by Dopo, it is doubtful whether he really is at the same level as Nomi. I don't think Kahaya is weak, but he is definitely not in the top 10 strongest characters. It's most likely that this guy cannot even defeat men like Hanenama or Katsumi. Kihaya's biggest weakness is his pride, since he genuinely believed he had the world's fastest and most powerful kicks. However, Dopo fractured one of his feet and showed him that he was far from having the best kicks. The worst part is that he refused to accept his defeat and immediately went to ask Dopo for a rematch in the Coliseum hallways. And well, as was obvious, Dopo sent him to sleep with a quick move. At the end of the arc, Nomi and Kahaya became friends with Baki and seem to have finally become humble people. Kahaya has a lot of potential as a fighter, and if we remember correctly, Yujiro was genuinely interested in his fighting skills, since he took the trouble to teach him how to kick correctly. On the other hand, when Yujiro met Nomi, he was furious and had no interest in having an exhibition fight against the Rikishi. In short, Kahaya has a lot of potential and, like any other fighter, can get stronger with the right physical and mental training. 
Currently, he is a couple of levels below fighters like Haneyama or Katsumi, but he has the potential to improve over time. How strong will Yujiro be if he had the demon brain? And what is Baki's current power level? Well, actually Yujiro does have the demon brain. It would be illogical for him not to have this power when he's supposed to be a nearly perfect being. The only time we saw what a Hanma family member's brain looked like was when Dr. Kureha analyzed Baki. The thing is, Yujiro has never undergone a physical study as detailed as Baki. So, that's why we've never seen Yujiro's brain in any manga panel. The truth is that Yujiro surely has a brain similar to Baki. In fact, in one chapter, we could see that he has eyes superior to those of any human being. Yujiro's eyes have x-ray vision, and thanks to this, he can see inside people to know their weak points or if they have some serious disease. On one occasion, he saw inside Mitsuneri and noticed that he had a dangerous disease. The ogre warned Mitsuneri to visit a doctor before his health got complicated. This is curious because Baki does not have this visual ability, but on the other hand, his brother Jack does. Jack demonstrated having the same x-ray vision that time he fought against Nomi in the underground arena. At that time, Jack managed to see Nomi's important arteries and veins, and thus knew where he should attack him. In a few chapters back, he also demonstrated having this special vision when he faced Mitsunari's Tibetan Mastiff. On that occasion, Jack could see all the animal's blood vessels and said he could defeat it by biting in the right place. This leads me to think that Baki has the demon brain but does not have x-ray vision. On the other hand, Jack might have gotten the opposite since it seems he inherited the vision from his father but does not have the demon brain. Perhaps the fact that Jack cannot awaken the demon back is because he does not have the demon brain. But anyway, answering the question of what Baki's current power level is, I would say that currently Baki is stronger than Yujiro was at 19 years old. The reason that leads me to say this is because, back in the era when Yujiro was young, there was nobody who could give him a good fight. Yujiro became strong on his own, and from what we saw in the series, no one ever dared to challenge him. On the other hand, Baki faced opponents that pushed him to the limit and forced him to evolve his physical abilities. When Yujiro was young, he never faced men like Oliva Biscuit or creatures like Pickle. Baki even had an evenly matched fight against the legendary swordsman Musashi Miyamoto. And well, don't forget to leave your opinion on the topics discussed in this video. And remember that you can leave your questions in the comment box, and I will try to answer them in the next video. Tell me what you think Yujiro's brother should be like if he really existed. And let me know if you'd like Retsu to return using the cloning method. And well friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.